Virgo, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. I'll also answer three yes or no questions in the extended as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you. It doesn't cost anything, and then you get notified all things Virgo. And I do Virgo readings every single week. And I also do individual zodiac sign monthly readings as well. I'll pull some oracle cards. We'll hop right into your tarot reading. Okay. <clears throat> Time for a nap. Blessed. Co-create. And what you're not seeing is a leg up. So I feel like you're not supposed to be taking action right now. I feel like everything is just fine. Like there's no reason to jump into anything. Have some patience and, and rest and just handle things in a calm manner. And you're already ahead. You're further ahead than you realize. You're further ahead than you realize. The universe does have your back in this situation. I'm going to lay the tarot cards down and then I'll go over them. Three of Pentacles. Emperor. Ace of Pentacles. Chariot. Fool. King of Cups. And the overall energy is the Five of Cups, and this card wanted to come out. King of Pentacles. <clears throat> so right off the bat, I am seeing one, two, three major arcana, the Emperor, the Chariot, the Fool. There are pentacles and there are cups. There are no wands and there are no swords. So this is not about action and this is not about thoughts. That's what's actually missing is action and, and the thought of this. There's just a lot of feelings right now. And a lot of um, a lot of standing still, to be completely honest. There's a major poten potential for um, either a job or a move or let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. And I'm going to clarify the King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Judgment. Queen of Wands. This is about speaking your truth and finding... Um, Things that excite you. This is about, that's what's the new here. The new is about, um, that's why you're not, you're not doing anything. That's why you're taking a nap. Because it's not about actually doing anything. It's about finding yourself. Finding where you want to go in your life. The things that are fun and exciting. You know, how can you remove drama from your life? This, the overall energy is the five of cups, which is about regrets. You know, what is it that you really regret? Some of it is um, taking too long to say something or taking too long to do something. Being uncompromising. It's like, oh, you know, maybe I was a stick in the mud over this specific situation. And that's why the universe is trying to tell you to take a nap is because there are some regrets that you're going to have if you don't slow down. The universe is trying to make it so that you don't have regrets. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. It's about your relationships with yourself and the people that you love. If you don't slow down and take your time in these situations, it's going to fly past you and then you're going to have regrets in those situations. The universe is trying to tell you that it doesn't matter what's going on. Right now you are currently blessed. Right now everything is okay. Right, right here, right now I'm safe. Right here, right now I'm safe. And the universe is like, take a deep breath. The emperor is clarified by the devil. Your control issues need to change. There is no empress here. So this is all about like taking control of situations, you know, um, plowing through situations. And that's what really needs to transform because there needs to be a balance. There also needs to be this situation where you don't take action. You can't constantly take action over and over and over again. You can't constantly be doing something. Whatever it is that you're worried about, it's going to move faster than you realize. The Magician, 
the Knight of Swords, and then you're going to realize, like, oh, I, I might have behaved in a way that I didn't really want to. You know, it's like, so the last reading was about, um, or not the last reading. Yes, maybe it was last week's reading about deployment or a person leaving. And I feel like, I feel like this person that might be leaving or whatever, I honestly feel like if you don't slow down and spend time with them, and, and I don't just mean physical time, but while you're with them, if you're sitting there and you're thinking about all of the things that need to be done, you're not with that person. And if you're not careful, you're going to regret not creating something with that person on like a very spiritual, psychological level. Fool, Ace of Cups, Six of Cups. This is something that you've never done before or you've ever experienced. There's some sort of heart chakra awakening here. This, um, this, this feeling, you've never really experienced it before. And the universe is really trying to tell you that, you know, look at things like a child. Love things like a child. See things like a child. Don't, um... Have fun, but what, you know, children, like when they're doing something, they're right here. They're not sitting there thinking about the bills that need to be paid or, you know, my kitchen that needs to be cleaned or, you know, my car that needs to be cleaned. Like they're not thinking about those things. They're not thinking about money. They're not thinking about the job. They're not thinking about any of that stuff. They're right here, right now. Kids are right here, right now. And that's what's really changing here. And that's what needs to be healed inside of you because I feel like, there's something that happened that somehow the rug was pulled out from underneath you at some point and it was very frustrating and it was very upsetting and so it kind of puts you in this like fight, flight, or freeze mode that is like where you constantly are at and it's if you're not doing something you don't feel productive and if you're, if you're, con if you're not constantly moving then you don't feel like you're worth anything and the universe is trying to show you that just because you're not doing something you know resting and taking care of yourself is doing something that is beneficial that is healing you know that is that's time for a nap that's exactly what's going on is the universe is trying to tell you to slow down because before you know it this person is going to leave this person is going to deploy and then you're going to look back and be like oh i i really miss them i wish i would have spent more time with them before they left. And so the universe is trying to tell you the way that you cherish that time a little bit better and a little bit more and so that you don't have these regrets is when you're with them, think of everything like a child. Like it's the first time you're experiencing this. Like, you know what? Things don't always have to be perfect. There is no such thing as perfect. And, you know, sometimes letting stuff go and, and having patience and not focusing on things that are um, maybe a societal value or um, like a tradition. Like just because it's a tra tradition doesn't mean that you don't have to let it go every once in a while. Like there's this like let go. Stop holding on to things that are so heavy. Like stop making things that are not your responsibility your responsibility. And it's like, I feel like you're trying to like do for everybody and do for everybody. And it's like, you know what? You don't have to constantly do for everybody. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Um, I will also answer three yes or no questions in the extended. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you. And then you'll get notified all things Virgo. And a couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out. And I'll see you over there.